Hey everybody, um, I wish I was in person and, and able to share this with you face to face, but uh, I know that I won't be able to do that. I'm only home for a short time before I head out with what God's doing with me next, um, but I want to be able to share that with you. So I'm, I'm going to be straightforward and honest. I'm not going to pretend as if you know why I'm making this video. Um, God has called me to, to spend the next two years of my life in Chile, and right now I'm in the process of building my prayer team and building my support team and so as I give, give kind of a snapshot of what Chile, Word of Life in Chile is all about and the ministry there, be thinking of how you can be a part of my team. God planted a seed in my heart uh, in 10th grade. I, I rededicated my life to the Lord and committed to serving Him full time. That same year I went on a, a foreign mission trip to Ecuador and since God has used that in my life and pointing my attention toward foreign missions and what he's doing around the world. Um, after high school, I attended Word of Life Bible Institute in upstate New York, and I've spent the past two years up there. But now that I'm graduated, um, I'll, I'm looking to continue on with Word of Life through a missionary internship program. In this program, it consists of living in a foreign country for two years in, in a country that Word of Life is currently ministering in. So Lord willing, I'll be two years, spending two years of my life in Chile, starting January 2015 until January 2017. Just so you know, Word of Life is a, a well-established organization uh, worldwide. It actually has just entered into its 69th country around the world in Libya, North Africa. Uh, Word of Life is focused on evangelism and discipleship with uh, just about 1,200 missionaries currently serving Word of Life gets its name from Philippians chapter 2. There's a passage in there that talks about, in the context, it's talking about holding forth the Word of Life in the midst of the crooked and twisted generation. I believe that it is our obligation to hold forth the Word of Life and to spread the Gospel to, our, to this generation, to our generation, and to reach them for Christ. In Chile, Word of Life is located just outside the capital city of Santiago. There's about 7 million people that live in this city alone, which covers just about 36% of the country's total population. This place is in desperate need of the gospel. It's just like New York City or Philadelphia, a very dark and perverted place. And the sad news is that a vast majority of these people have never heard the gospel and have no hope for salvation. But the good news is that Santiago is literally the back doorstep of Word of Life property, and that will be our outreach. We'll have so many opportunities to be involved with the city directly and to invite people from the city, teens and adults and, and young children, out of the city into and onto the Word of Life property. Some of the ministries that we'll be involved with uh, directly when I'm down there, I'm so excited to get involved with the camping ministry. They have summer camps that go for six weeks and well the seasons are backwards so in January and February when we're freezing here it's summertime there and I'll be involved with as a camp counselor or maybe running activities and certain games so I'll be directly involved with these kids um, one story that, that stuck out to me his name is Juan and he was 15 years old when he heard about Word of Life in Chile and he ended up going to the, the summer camp heard the gospel for the first time and he trusted Christ as his Savior. Before he left, the director of Word of Life connected him with a church back home where he's from. And when he got home, he got invested into the church and, and began to grow and, and to dig into the Bible on his own. Five years later, he's now, tw he's now 20 years old and he's coming back on, on staff with Word of Life, working at the same camps that he got saved at. And that is what I'm very, very excited for, to be a part of directly impacting people for the glory of God and changing lives and transforming lives. So I've given you a small snapshot of what the ministry is like in Chile, but I want to return to what I originally stated, that I need you on my team. See, God wants me in Chile, but He doesn't want me there alone. And I, I would like to ask you to be a part of my team, whether prayerfully or financially or both. It's interesting, in, in the book of Philippians, Paul is talking to the church, but I also believe he's talking to us. In chapter 4, he explains 
how the emphasis of prayer and how it's so important. He says in all things, he said, don't be worried and anxious, but in all things, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I believe he was talking to the body of believers, but also individuals. So I need your prayer, and I would like you to be on my, on my prayer team, but also financially. It's interesting, in that same chapter, Paul explains, he goes on to, to thank the church for their gifts, and he goes on to thank them, saying, I didn't need what you gave me. I was so content, I was content being poor and hungry, but you gave to me anyway, because you were concerned for me. But then he goes on to say this in verse 17. He says, not that I was seeking the gift, but I was seeking the fruit to increase on your account. Wow. <laughs> like, Paul was so concerned with the church and the believers investing in his ministry because he knew that he couldn't do it without them. And he knew that the only ministry he would have was because they got him there. And so that's where I'm at right now, is I'm waiting to be sent on the field. I'm waiting to be in ministry and, in, and involved in Chile, but I need you to get me there. God, Paul recognized that God used people to provide. He used people as the channel of all of his resources. So I trust that, that you will be that channel for me. So if you would like to give monthly to help me get to Chile, my, my monthly needs are $675. And some of the other needs, like a plane ticket, and a visa, and I'll be, t I'll be taking language classes while I'm there. They speak Spanish, so I'll be taking language classes while I'm there. But if you would like to give, uh, here are some links to do that. Thank you in advance for all your support. God bless.